Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to change your model from T pose to A pose and vice versa, but we're going to do this without the CAT plugin because if you're someone that's using Blender 4.0 or 4.1, which I'm currently. I'm currently using 4.1 in this tutorial, but either, you know, any version above 4.0, you are unable to use Cat's Blender. Now, there are some forked versions of Cat's Blender I could go over, but honestly, I'm going to go over a native method in Blender, so you don't have to use Cat's, I don't use Cat's anymore, and this is just a native method I use, so that way I can change the posing, and... Once you, like, at first it may get a little tricky to memorize, but once you get the hang of it, it, you can actually do this pretty quickly. So to start off, though, we have our lovely Tess Chan who is in T-Pose, and we want her to be in A-Pose, let's say. So to get her in A-Pose, or your character in A-Pose, go ahead and start off by selecting the armature. So left-click on your armature. Then you're going to go to the top up here from Object Mode to Pose Mode. Then you're going to select the upper arm bone and then we're going to rotate this down to 45 degrees. So for the right arm, we're going to make it negative 45. And then for the other arm, we're going to make this positive 45. And there you go, you got an A pose. But do keep in mind though, if you just go back to object mode and you export this, it will, uh, If you, let's say you export as a T pose, most likely this will export as its normal T pose, but we want this to be an enforced A pose, especially let's say if we want to do MMD stuff. So in order to make it so the A pose is permanent, what we need to do is we need to select the body mesh. Now, um, keep in mind though that if your model has multiple different parts, like let's say for example, I have it where the t-shirt is separated and then I also have the body or other pieces. I heavily recommend joining those parts, like anything associated with the body. I recommend joining it just for your convenience. But if you can't, then I'll explain uh, about the multiple parts in just a moment. But what we're going to do is that we're going to select the body mesh here. Just a body mesh because it's arms. We're going to go into the modifier tab here. And then we're going to add a modifier. We're going to go into deform and we're going to add a second armature modifier like this. Because this is going to be how you're going to make sure to tell Blender it's going to force the A-pose. Uh, this is not the only, uh, this is not the last step. There is an another step after this. So once you have the second armature modifier added, you're going to go into object here and add armature. Now... I'm going to assume that your model has shape keys and you're probably wondering, wait Kana, my model has shape keys, I can't, I can't apply a modifier with shape keys, what do I do? In the description below, please download the FK Keeper add-on, I don't know why this is not a native function in Blender, but it is what it is. So download that plugin in the description below and it should look something like this, so if I go to preferences here real quickly, add-ons, and then FK Keeper right here, this is how it should look like uh, once you properly install it. I'll leave a tutorial down below on how to install Blender plugins for your convenience, but here, make sure that this is downloaded, and once you have FK Keeper downloaded, what you're going to then do is select the body mesh, make sure that the two armature modifiers are here, go into object up here, in object mode here, and then object, and then you're gonna go all the way down and apply chosen modifiers. And then you're gonna choose whichever whichever one you want. It, you'll choose the, the top one here, for instance, and press on OK. And then, after some time, what it'll do is that it will apply at least one of the armature modifiers while also making sure that our blend shapes are properly retained, like this. See? So once we have that, the, the last step that you're going to do, or the last few steps that you're going to do, because right now, while we apply that second armature, you see how our arms are now inward. But we want it to be where this, you see how like the bones here are at? We want it where the arms are permanently at this location. So we're going to select the armature, 
go into object mode, then pose mode, select everything with A key, and then pose, apply, apply pose as rest pose here. And there you go. That's how you can make your model into an A pose. So what if we want to do it the opposite now, where we want to change it from A pose back to T pose? It's pretty much just the same exact step, so let's go over it one more time. So let's go ahead and make her back into T pose by, for this arm, we're going to put this to positive 45, and then this one be negative 45. Then we're going to go back from pose mode. We're going to go into object mode here. Then we're going to select the body. And then uh, add, add modifier. You're going to then do deform, armature. Make sure that object here is set to armature here. You'll get like a Y pose that's, that's going to happen. Then make sure they have SK Keeper downloaded and installed to Blender. Go to object here. Go to... Ch Apply chosen modifiers, select one of the modifiers here, let's say the top one here for armature, press on OK. Give it some time to process, your blend shape should be retained. And then once you have that, we're going to select the armature, go to object, switch it to pose mode, select everything, pose, then apply, then apply pose as rest pose. And there you go, now you have T-pose again. Now, before I go, I did mention earlier I wanted to go over what if your mall's in separate pieces and you're unable to join it. Well, do keep in mind, though, that pretty much, um, let's say we're going to do the A-pose one more time. I just want to, like, quickly elaborate this, so let's just say just quickly A-pose this or something. So, if your model has multiple pieces that, at preference, you want to still keep them separate, then you will have to make sure that, let's say, for example, the body here, you're going to then add a modifier, then add deform, or deform, then armature, and then you're going to pretty much replicate the same steps you did with the body, but with, let's say, the shirt or jacket or whatever you have, the separate object. So, go to deform, armature for the shirt, and then you're pretty much just going to do the SK Keeper, and you're going to do it for both the shirt or, you know, the accessory on the body and the body itself. And make sure that you do okay for both of them. And then you do the last step, which will be to select your armature, and then apply the rest pose over here. So it's pretty much just doing it an, like an extra time with the armature uh, modifier that if you have multiple objects going on. But otherwise, though, I pretty much taught you how to do it the vanilla method for 4.0 and 4.1 users. But again, if let's say you got cats not working and you're using 3.0 or something like that, then by all means, you can also just use this method instead. So it's all good. But I hope that this tutorial helps you out, though. Let me know if you need anything, uh, need any, like, if you have any tutorial recommendations for Blender. But otherwise, though, hope you have a lovely day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!